Okay, what we're going to do here is a crown splice or a back splice. Okay, in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to um, open up about two to three inches of, uh, um, of the line. So what we have done is we've taken the, the end of the line and just uh, and open it up. And then I've just put a little piece of tape over each one to stop it from coming undone. Okay. We don't want it to, uh, um, you need to keep holding it here so that it doesn't uh, unravel too much. Otherwise it's going to carry on unraveling. So you just need to keep your thumb and finger over the, uh, over the thing to stop it going any further down. Okay, now if we look at the three, at the three pieces, okay, I can, I can turn it until we've got one which is in the middle and it's at the behind, it's, at the, it's kind of the furthest away from me. The one on the left and the one on the right. Okay, because what we're trying to do now is make a crown knot. So to do that, I take the one in the middle and I just loop it over and I hold it underneath my thumb. Like that. Then I take the one from the right and I just put it a little bit through the, uh, through the loop that's underneath my thumb. I don't push it all the way through because I need to get the left hand one and bring it around without hooking it up on that tail piece and bring it into the loop from the right hand one. Okay, then I can pull that one, pull the tails out, and now I can let go of the one underneath my thumb and pull that one down too. Okay, then we just uh, one at a time just pull them all down and it should come into a nice crown knot and it kind of looks a bit like a propeller okay and then one two and three okay that's the hardest part of this done is getting the crown knot correct and you just want to keep uh, keep it nice and tight so that it uh, it doesn't the rope underneath doesn't unravel and now we want to start our weave Okay, <clears throat> and to do that, if we hold it so that the um, so that the uh, um, the crown knot is in our left hand, you'll see the three tails going this way. Okay, so take you can start at any one, and what we want to do is we want to go over over one of the strands on the standing part of the rope and under the next one. So this one here. Okay, let's start on this one. Okay, it's resting on this one right here. So what we do is we're going to go over that one, and then the next one is that one. So we're going to open it up like that, and we're going to go over that one and under that one. Okay, and pull it through. Then we twist the whole thing towards you. And with the next tail, we want to go over the one we just went under. Okay, and then under the next one. So we go over that one and under that one. So we open that one up, push it through. Okay, then we twist it towards the self again. And this is the one that we just went under. So we're going to go over that one. And then we want to go under the next one. This is where we need to pay a bit of attention. We want to make sure we go under one of the pieces from the standing part of the line, not one of the tails. They're fairly close together. This is one of the tails. This is the one we want to go under. If you can see, it's coming up from this piece of rope here. So we go over that one. Sorry. Over that one under that one and that is our first set of weaves okay so we can pinch cinch everything up nice and tight give it a bit of a tug and a twist all the way around and we have done our first one we have to do three for a for a crown spice on a synthetic rope we have to do three uh, full weaves. So that's one.
So we can start again anyway. This one is leaning over this one. So we're going to go over that one, under that one. Twist it towards us. You go over the one that you just went under and under the next one. Twist it towards us, over the one we just went under, and then make sure we don't go under that one. That is one of the tails, not part of the standing line. We go under this one right here. Give them a twist and a tug, twist and a tug, twist and a tug. There we go, we have the second weave. And we have to do three, so let's do one more. Okay, over that one, under that one. Over that one, under that one. And then over that one, and under that one. And there we have a crown splice or a back splice. What we would do now is with a hot knife, we would just burn off these ends. And um, being careful not to burn the rope itself, just burn off the ends. And you have done a crown splice. Okay, to burn off the ends, we have a hot knife. Get yourself a nice board so that you don't uh, burn deck Ooh. okay okay one two Just gonna trim that one up a little bit more and there we have some well burnt ends. They're not too shallow, they're not sticking out too far.